From forcing her daughter to pose naked, to never really caring about her only son, here's how Kris Jenner has ruined her family. I mean, I've got to start with Kim's controversial Playboy cover, right? What was that even about? Back in 2007, before the Kardashians had become the full-blown TV dynasty they are today, Kim made the biggest decision of her life, at the age of just 27. You see, Kris, the notorious momager, was seen pitching a wild idea to her family on the first season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. She's telling her daughter that she should bear it all for a Playboy photo shoot. Now you know Chloe is the only Kardashian sister who tells it like it is, right? So, she goes ahead and fires back with a snappy remark, saying that Chris only wants Kim to pose naked because she gets 10% of the cut. Ouch. To be honest, Chris seemed almost giddy just talking about it, which does make you wonder what her motives were. Kim was still really young at that point and, naturally, had some concerns about the shoot, especially after that leaked sex tape. Chris, though, being the mastermind that she is, assured Kim that the experience was going to be awesome. She was practically begging her to go for it. Kimmy did put her foot down over this one thing. Absolutely no nudity. Still, when the founder of Playboy saw Kim's relatively modest shoot that featured the reality star in hot red lingerie, he demanded that she show more skin. Can you believe it? Even though Chris, as Kim's manager, should have fought for better terms, she caved into Hefner's request. Fast forward to the day of the shoot, and you can see that Kim's nervous with her body covered in diamonds and pearls. That's actually where Chris comes in with her iconic and now viral phrase. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Many years down the line, Kim opened up on how she really wasn't on board with the whole thing. While the reality star has gotten more comfortable with flaunting her body in recent years, back then, it was a whole other story. Fans could see that Chris had to really push her kid into doing something. That was just scandalous enough to get her name out there. They think she was the mastermind behind that whole sex tape situation too. Yeah, it'd be crazy to deny that Kim's controversial video with her former boyfriend and rapper Ray J wasn't what brought the Kardashians on the radar. When the media frenzy erupted around the infamous video, Chris seized the opportunity to shoot her and her family to fame. She raced over to Ryan Seacrest and pitched a reality show centered around their wild, blended family. Now that you know their television dynasty was her brainchild, it's hard to argue that Chris wasn't the one who leaked her daughter's sex tape in the first place. Look, she'd been craving the spotlight for years, and this was the perfect opportunity to grab it by the horns, even if it meant exposing her family's deepest, darkest secrets in the process. And everyone agrees that Chloe was the one who had to go through the most. From the moment Chloe was born, she was made to feel like an outsider in her own family. Chris, who only seems to care about her family's outer appearance, couldn't help but highlight how Chloe looked different from everyone else in the family as a baby. If that wasn't enough, when Chloe was just nine years old, she overheard her own mother discussing the need for her to get a nose job. Things only went downhill when keeping up with the Kardashians kicked off. As an executive producer of the show, Chris had a hand in crafting the storylines. In one unforgettable season seven episode, the entire storyline revolved around questioning Chloe's paternity just because of her appearance. Can you imagine the emotional toll that must have taken on her? I also can't forget the body shaming extravaganza that Chris orchestrated on camera. During an episode of the Chloe and Lamar spin-off show, Chris openly body shamed Chloe, claiming that her weight gain was harming the family's image. She went so far as to accuse Chloe of sabotaging the brand. You can bet that Chloe didn't hold back, calling her mom a raging lunatic and saying that she was pure evil. I wish I could tell you that was it, but the heartbreak didn't stop there. Chloe's messy divorce from Lamar Odom was played out for the entire world to see, and we have Chris to thank for it. The cameras captured her sobbing on the day she filed for divorce and witnessed her moving out of their shared home. Did you know? Chris didn't just encourage her kid to share these painful moments on the show, but she also scripted some behind-the-scenes drama, too. In a jaw-dropping revelation, Lamar claimed that Chris set up a supposed chance encounter between him and Chloe. Desperate to win her back, he fell into Chris's trap, only to realize that he had been manipulated and Chloe had no idea what was happening. She later confronted Chris about it on the show, accusing her of lying, but Chris tried to laugh it all off. Yikes. All that's nothing compared to what Courtney had to go through, though. Back in the day, she fearlessly allowed the worst aspects of her relationship with Scott Disick to be broadcasted to the world. 
From infidelity rumors to Scott's battles with alcohol and drugs, nothing was off limits. Their roller coaster romance kept the show going for years, captivating the audience with their messy on and off dynamic that lasted 10 whole years. But the constant oversharing eventually took its toll on Courtney. She kept telling her family how unhappy she was putting her life on display, feeling the need to take a step back from filming and prioritizing her family instead. Little did she know that her decision to pull back would strain her relationships with her sisters, Chloe and Kim. They felt Courtney wasn't pulling her weight when it came to contributing to the show, with Kimmy and Court even engaging in a physical fight on the show. Chris chose to air these vulnerable moments between the three sisters for everyone to see. Courtney has gone on to describe the experience as toxic. I don't blame her. Imagine 19 seasons, six spin-off seasons, all dedicated to exposing her life to the world. But at least Courtney was an adult when she was on the show, with some autonomy. I can't say the same for Kendall and Kylie, who were practically forced into the limelight by their momager. They were just 10 and 9 years old when the show began. And you could say the girls never really had a normal childhood. Kylie, in particular, has been really open about being thrust into the spotlight without having any say in how things ran. Not to mention all the questionable things Chris has approved to go on air, like that scene in season one where Kylie infamously danced on a stripper pole. Kylie also revealed that she feels constantly pressured to maintain a certain image due to her family's fame, which impacted her own sense of identity. Kendall agrees. I mean, she's grateful for all the opportunities that have come with her family's fame. There are moments when she just wants a break from it all. But if you ask me, Rob was dealt the worst cards out of everyone. Things got so bad for the Kardashian brother that he decided to stay out of the limelight permanently. As a member of the Kardashian family, it was nearly impossible for Rob to exist without constant paparazzi attention. He went into hiding after the constant body shaming got too much to handle. The guy even missed Kim and Kanye's wedding back in 2014. If you ask me, he only has his mom to blame for his isolation. During a therapy session captured on the show, the siblings admitted that Chris's focus was primarily on raising her daughters. This revelation came as tensions grew between Kim and her siblings, where Rob expressed feelings of being treated unfairly compared to his sisters. Now Kim did come to her mom's defense, saying that she didn't know how to raise a boy, especially after their dad, Robert, passed away. I call that a weak excuse, wouldn't you? It's obvious that Rob wasn't bringing in the same kind of money that Chris's daughters were. Even though he had plenty of ideas for his own businesses, Chris just wouldn't support him. After constantly being let down by his mother, he decided to leave it all behind. So, from forcing her daughter to pose naked, to never really caring about Rob or his dreams. That was how Kris Jenner has ruined her family.